Okay, last question is from Teresa. Teresa is a Jesse's girl. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Jesse. Looking for an example on the best way to carb cycle. Do you up your fat and protein to balance out the calories? Thank you. So there isn't really a best way to carb cycle. It really depends on the individual and what that individual person gets from the results of carb cycling or the results of high fats, low fats. You just need to pay attention to your body and give things time. Allow yourself to practice something new long enough to know how your body responds to it. So if you try high fat, low carb for two weeks and you're like, Meh, that didn't work for me, two weeks is not enough time for your body to adapt to that and to really begin to make changes from that. Personally, I don't care for carb cycling as a long-term program. This is the way to lose fat and build muscle. This is the way to diet. I am very open-minded. You girls know this by now. I have pretty much tried every kind of diet. I have tried every type of training. That's why I feel that I'm in the position that I am today because I have given everything a try and I've given everything time and I've put years and years and years into the type of training that I prefer, that I think works best for everybody and in terms of diet and nutrition, you've all heard me say this a million times before, but ask yourself, can I do this forever? Can I teach my family this? Can I do this with my family? Can I do this while I'm on vacation? If the answer is no, you might be able to do it for a little while, but eventually you're gonna burn out from it. If you go to Maui with your family and you're in the middle of a carb cycling frenzy, <laughs> Are you going to enjoy your trip? If you are there, you get to Hawaii, you get to Maui, and it's high carb day for two days of, for the first two days of your trip. Awesome, macadamia nut pancakes, dinner, sushi, all sorts of amazing stuff, right? First two days of your trip were so amazing. And then you have those two high carb days followed by two low carb days. So right smack in the middle of your vacation, the center of your week, all of a sudden, you spent two amazing days with your family having sushi and pancakes and all sorts of amazing stuff. And then you're on two low carb days and you have to train and you're hungry and your family's around you, your kids, your husband, whatever, your friends, your mom, they're eating waffles and they're eating yummy Hawaiian food and they're eating sushi and they're having a Mai Tai and you are miserable because you have to eat zero carbs that day or 40 grams of carbs or whatever your low carb cycle is and you have to go to the gym and you're exhausted and you're burnt out and you're starving and you still have to go to your cardio and lift okay that does not sound like a good vacation to me I know that's a very extreme example but this is life you're gonna be on vacation do you want a carb cycle while you're on vacation no I never wanted to I used to carb cycle just to try it out it's probably back in when I first started competing back in 2008, 2009, and I thought that was the way to go. That was the big thing back then, carb cycling. Everybody was talking about it, everybody was doing it. Sure, I got lean, that's fine. Yeah, there are so many ways to get lean. There are so many ways to get lean. You can starve yourself to get lean, you can do cardio all day and get lean. There are a lot of ways to get lean, but they are not the best ways. And carb cycling is one of them. I don't think carb cycling is bad. No, absolutely not. I think it's great. But I like to enjoy every single day of my life, which is why I grabbed on to tracking my macros and starting the whole if it fits your macros and micros lifestyle. My life has been amazing every single day since I started doing that and developed the Justice Girls philosophy. I look like this every single day, every single day, I look like this. And I do not carb cycle, I do not starve myself, I am not unhappy, I do not do very much cardio, I lift my freaking ass off, and I eat my macros every single day. And there's lots of carbs in those macros, okay? I have given that years, and my body finally, after all the trying, all this crazy stuff, all these crazy diets, my body finally went Thank you for giving me the fuel that I need every single day, including rest days, including training days, and it finally started playing along with what I was trying to do. And now I get to look like this every single day. I get to go to Maui and eat macadamia nut pancakes and eat sushi at night when all my family members are doing the same thing. 
Okay. There's something to be said for that. That's all I'm gonna say. That being said, if you want to carb cycle to make it really easy, you could just create a menu for the high carb days and the low carb days. Because if you try to track your macros and carb cycle, then it just gets crazy because you've got high carb days and moderate carb days and low carb days and trying to keep track of which day is low, which day is high, and enter it all into my fitness pal, and blah, blah, blah. That's crazy. So what I would do, what I used to do when I would carb cycle years and years and years ago, is I would just create menus. So I had one menu for high carb day, one menu for moderate carb day, and one menu for low carb day. I would just rotate those three menus depending on what carb level day it was. But again, that's going back to here's my menu for the day. I can't go to lunch with my friends. I can't stop at this place and eat lunch. I can't go to this meeting and order food off the menu because I'm following my boring ass little menu that is made for me that I have to stick to. Not the life that I feel like living. Not the life that you can teach your kids to follow. Not the life that you get to follow when you're on vacation in Maui. All right, I hope this is making sense. You're beating it into your head. <laughs> I believe that all of those type of diets, restricting yourself, even if it's for two days. Yes, I understand that the one or two or three high, high carb days, whatever it is in your carb cycle, they fuel the low carb days. Right, but your brain doesn't work like that. Your body might work like that, but your brain doesn't work like that. I don't care if I have 250 grams of carbs today and then 40 grams of carbs tomorrow, whether or not that 250 grams of carbs today is going to fuel my body for tomorrow, I'm still screwed up in the head because I don't get to eat tomorrow. I'm still screwed up. I'm still like living for on the low carb day. I'm still spending that whole day going, oh my God, only one more day and then I get to eat again. Like who wants to live like that? That sounds so stupid to me. So stupid. Like let's focus on something else like eating and training and lifting and being a badass. Let's think about that. Let's focus on that every single day. I think that sounds freaking fantastic. Carb cycling, restricting, cardio, no food, that is not the justice girl's life. I really believe with all of my heart that you can achieve your goal physique by including carbs daily, along with lifting and training with intensity and fueling your body every single day. It's not the easy and quick way, absolutely not. I am never gonna say that being a justice girl and following my philosophy of training with intensity, lifting, staying consistent in the gym and with your nutrition and tracking your macros and eating is going to get you the results that you want fast. I'm never ever going to say that. You will never read that anywhere. It takes time. It is the hardest way to get to the physique that you want, which is why Jessie's girls are the most badass chicks out there. The ones that actually adopt this lifestyle and actually live it. We are happy, our marriages are happy, our boyfriends are happy, we're happy, family's happy, life is good, our workouts are freaking amazing. We love our meals, we love our food. I'm sorry, but there's just, I can't think of one other better way to be an athlete and to lift hard and be that happy all at the same time. It's the only way. One, there's one way, it's the only way, that's it. <laughs> Carb cycling isn't bad, I just feel feel like it's sort of a gateway to the bad habits. It's not as bad as restricting yourself day, 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 day after day and doing cardio, but it is like the gateway drug to living that life. And also, Teresa, in a sense, the Jessie's Girls nutrition program, in a teeny tiny little itty bitty way, does carb cycle because we reduce our carbs on rest days. So yeah, I realize it's only one or two rest days every week, but you reduce your carbs by 25% in my programs on rest days. So if you're training five days a week, you've got high carbs five days a week, and then you've got two lower carb days two days a week. So hey, a pattern's a pattern. So your carbs like when you didn't even know it. Anyway, it's just not my style. You know my style. I'm very passionate about being happy and fueled and fed. And I would love to see all of you listening to this video experience that and know what it feels like.